Hello, this is a quick video tutorial on how to configure your IP settings on your Windows 7 PC and connect up to a brand new UAP G2 DSP engine. So the first thing we want to do is let's launch our UAP software. Please ensure that you have the latest software revision which is 1.04.72. If you do not have this version, please make sure you download the version for free from the website at www.penton-usa.com. All right, now that we have the software launched, let's go up to the tools and we'll scroll down to the Establish Ethernet link. Click on that, and as you can see on the IP setting config window that pops up, the default IP address for all UAP shipped from the factory will be 192.168.100.6. So let's go out and see if we can find this. And the machine is searching, and it has found it. Okay, now if we notice that the IP address and all the information on the machine type and port is listed in red, there's a message up here at the top that says if the advice list is shown in red, which it is, it means that this device's network ID is different from the PCs. And yes, it is indeed correct. I have mine not in the same family. So I can show you how to connect to this. So first of all, let's try to connect to this machine. So let's just go down and hit connect. Oh, there's an error message. It says please select a device to connect. Okay. What it's asking you is this little checkbox over here to the right. You have to check that. The reason for that is you can have up to 12 UAP devices in a single system or network. So you can have a bunch of these machines actually listed right here at the same time. If you have the same IP address, they would give them different names like 1, 2, and 3. Then you'd have to go in and configure the IP separately, obviously. So let's connect it. And let's try to connect again after we selected it. So now I told it which one I want to go look for. And it's going to diligently go out there and try to find it. And hopefully we will get a failure message because as the red error message told us, we are not in the same network ID. And as we can see, that is indeed what happened. We've got a connection fail message. So that means that there's something not right between the network communications protocol between my Windows 7 PC and the UAP device. So what I'll do is we'll go ahead and close all this out, close this out. And since we're also going to be configuring network IDs, I just close the software out. Um, it eliminates any problems with memory or caching, the better to close the software when you do your IP config and then relaunch it once you reconfigure your IP. So I have my Windows 7 PC. So let's go down here to the lower left hand corner to the Windows tab. We'll scroll up to the control panel. So let's select control panel. Once we're in the control panel, we will go to network and uh, internet. And then from the network and internet, let's go up to network and sharing center. And once we launch that, you'll see there's some options over here to the left. One of them is change adapter settings. So please left click on that. And here's a couple of things that, that I noticed right off the bat. One is my wireless network connection is active. So what I want to do is right click on that and just go ahead and select disable and let's disable the wireless connection. What that does is that prevents any communications error where it's trying to connect through the wireless or the Ethernet connection and it just eliminates any potential problems or conflicts. Next, we'll go over to local area connections. I highlight it, right click on it, and scroll down to properties. Once we have the local area connection properties window open, we'll go down here and highlight interconnect protocol version 4. Once that's highlighted, we'll click on properties, and here's our problem. As you see right here that most of these come default, and if you're talking on networks or wireless, whatever, it's going to say obtain an IP address automatically. So what we need to do is give this machine a static IP address that will allow it to talk to the UAP, so it has to be in the same network ID family. So let's select use the following IP address, and let's give it an IP address. As we remember from our default IP, these machines come default at 192.168. Dot 100 and since the machine is 6 we need to choose anything between say 1 and 254 that's not 6 so uh, let's just use 50 then um, I will tab down and the subnet mask is filled in automatically for me there is no default gateway required because I'm direct connection with my cat5 cable between my laptop and the back of the UAP matter of fact it's the cable that actually gets shipped with the, the UAPs themselves we will click OK and we will close this window out and we will close this window out. Now, hopefully we should be able to talk to our UAP. So let's relaunch the software. Okay, and let's go back up to tools. We go down to establish the Ethernet link, 
and we will research for the machine and hopefully it will still find it. Okay, and it has indeed found the machine. Now you notice it's not in red, it's in black. So we are indeed in communications in the same network ID, so it should allow us to connect. So once again, we select the machine we want to talk to, because remember, we could have multiple machines in this system. And we click on connect. And wow, that was quick. Connection successful, so we are ready to go. Congratulations, you've actually just connected up to your brand new UAP with your Windows 7 device. And let's make sure that we actually are connected up. I'll go up here to operations and I want to click on reverse. Now, if you remember from your training, that reverse means I'm going to get whatever the programming is already stored in the machine. I'm going to upload it to my PC so I can view it, edit it, control it, what have you. So I'll click on this and it's going to ask me for my login information. All the UAP machines come with a default login with admin being your user ID and there is no password required. And we will click OK, and it says, do I really want to do this? And obviously I do. And we have loaded the table successfully. We are completed, and there's our one machine. Let's double click on that. And as you can see, there is the programming that is within the machine and the design. Congratulations. You have just hooked up and reverse uploaded your programming on your very first UAP.